hello everyone welcome to today's video in today's video we are going to be designing uh, a cover image we're having a cover image design like this one we have here with amazon kdp in mind we are going to have in the details of amazon kdp uh, without delay let's quickly start the design First, what I will do is to open a new page. A new page. So I'll open a new page. Here I have uh, some images. These are the images that I'm going to be using. But first, I'll take the paper size. The paper size. Uh, KDP has specified that the minimum size of the image required is. Uh, 1000 kilobytes by 625 kilobytes so what we do so we are going to take the taking the paper size in pixels so our workspace will convert it to pixel that is the first thing we are going to do i'll take uh the paper the workspace convert it to pixel i'll come here under this bar under this bar here you just drop this array have unit i'll drop it and first convert it to pixel so our workspace now is now in pixels uh, the next thing i'll be doing is to take the width and the height of our workspace so this is the width of the workspace and this is the height so i'll just go and type 625 this is a pixel then in 1000 in height height is 1000 pixel so i'll just say i'll select enter this is enter so this is the size we are working with this one here so as usual i'll click double click my rectangle to to get a box around my workspace so uh, i'll get the box around my workspace and i'll zoom it for me to see my workspace clearly so the next thing we are going to be doing is to add test. We add our test. So I'll type my test as a Amazon only the I'm using cap. So the next one is not going to be in cap. So I'll I'll off my cap to then capital summa okay only this summer then i have another one here so i will just type uh, this is the name of the publisher it can be your name whoever is publishing at that moment so you can just add your name so that is it so the next thing is i'll be taking uh the font the font that i'll be using for this one so i will select the one this font i want to use for a particular test so i'll select the test i'm using and come here i'll click on this drop down arrow and take the test i'll be using so it can be any test of your choice so so long as you are okay with it just go ahead and use it so i will break this one apart first i'll put i'll select my test tool and put it in between where i want to break it so i'll just break from here I'll, I will enter to separate it so that is it now from here i cannot break it apart i'll use my shortcut control key and k so to break it apart that is a shortcut to break two test apart so control k to break two test apart so that is it so i'll select where we're on the drag so you make your adjustments where you want it so i'll select another font so to select to choose the font you select the test and click on the drop down arrow make your choice of test make your choice of test so that's it so i'll adjust it however i deem fit so that is it now i'll select this font again and uh, this test again and use the font of my choice so i'll just reduce it till i get to my desired size okay that's it 
So the next thing we are going to be doing, we are going to be adding our image inside the our text and the background itself. So looking at this one, we have this image here, this image, summer family image. So you, you just select the image, you select the image and go to your object tab. This under this uh, uh, tab here, click on this object tab. From the drop down arrow, go to power click. Then here you click on place inside frame. So I'll click on this one. Now I'll come. I'll say this frame. This is the frame I want my image. So I'll just click this place. So automatically it will enter the frame. So likewise this one as well. So I'll just come to this one. Let me reduce it a bit. So I'll come to this one and do the same thing. Do the same thing for this one. And place it or you do not take note of this thing it's taking just the holy but i want it to take both of them as it should be so i will now undo first first before i place in the image i will now select both i'll, I'll select one of the test hold my shift down and select the other one so they are two together now so i'll now group it ctrl g to group so i'll group it and i will select my image go to this drop down uh, tab then power click then place inside frame so i'll come here and place this inside the frame uh, first you know it's not looking very good so i'll just uh, right click or i can come to this uh, tab and come here i say edit content so I'll edit content you can now sorry it's like i extracted content so I should be editing. I should be editing. Edit power clip. So this is what I should do. So I'll click edit power clip. So I'll come and reduce it till I get my desired uh, future. So, so I think I'm okay like this. So I'll just click on finish. Click on finish. So this is what I want for now. Now, the next thing is I'm going to be editing this larger background. Now, see, I'll still go back there. I'll select this. I'll go back there and click on Edit Power Clip. So, this is our image inside. So, we adjust it. I'll adjust it. I'll reduce it till I get my desired view. So, I think I'm okay here. But if you look at this upper space, you see that we are having white. I don't want it to be white, I want it in blue. So what I will do, I will duplicate this image. I will duplicate it. And I just need the blue, so I will take the blue region. So I will cut it, I will crop it to make sure I get that blue region. So I will take it down. Take it down a bit, stretching above this one here. So I take it and take it to the back of the image itself. This first image, so I take it to the back. Now, you are seeing this uh, separation here. I don't want this separation to appear. So what I'll do, I'll select this particular image and I'll come to my transparency tool. I'll click on the transparency tool and have a little blend so i'll blend it a little to fade off that our uh, edge that i don't want so, okay and this is what i want so i'll just go back to my picture yeah this is it so when i'm done i'll click on finish editing this level now i'll remove my outline because i don't need it so i'll remove my outline basically this is the design you can have more adjustments if you wish but basically this is the design this is the design so the next thing we are going to be doing is to export it in jpeg format because the specification of uh, kdp is in jpeg format so we are going to be exporting it so i will have it 
اینجا پک اومد Uh, all we do is to select the whole image so most times this proper you use ctrl a but what i would not recommend i won't recommend ctrl a at the moment why because you know by error you may have something like line here or something so by the time i use ctrl a you have issue of this particular distance selected unknown to you so what i would do is to select the part i want so i'll select everything here this is the image i want this is it image so i will now select everything and click on export this is the shortcut for export yeah ctrl e this is the icon so you just click on it you click on it select the location where you want the, want the image this location so as soon as you click on export you have this dialog box so from this dialog box you can enter the file name let's say i'll use kdp kdp code so this is it now you look at this one it says save as file type if you click on this drop down arrow you see various um formats but what we need now is this jpeg uh jpg jpeg bitmap so i'll select this one that's what we need then make sure this selected only is checked so that you don't pick any other uh, part of your design that is not wanted so you pick on this one i'll pick selected only then i'll say export so i'll export now this is the dialogue another dialogue box we are going to be talking about other image uh the coloring color mode color mode but for now what we'll be using is rgb red green and blue red green and blue so let's stick with this for the purpose of this video so i'll use red green and blue so i will not say okay i'm okay just click red green and blue and say okay okay so now we have our image ready let's look at it if we get the actual size the sizing is good enough for amazon kdp so i'll go to my location where i have the video the image so this is the image where i have it so i'll say i'll drop it naturally if you hover over it you see the size it's in jpeg it's a jpeg file you know this is the date this is the size six to uh, six to six doesn't matter it's just between 1000 by 1000 so 6 to 6 supposed to be 2 6 to 5 but 6 to 6 is still okay so the size is 242 kilobytes which is far lower than 50 kilobytes so i believe exporting this you will not have any issue at all any issue but if you are having hovering it you have an issue hovering it you can just right click and click on property so you see the whole property here this is the size size on disk and the actual size so you see the location and the rest in this dialog box so uh, basically that is it for this particular video or well, you you may want to ask what about this mock-up design we can talk about mock-up designs in other videos but for now basically that is all you need for to upload your cover image to your project in amazon kdp thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel and like my video turn on the notification bell so when i post other videos you will be informed promptly thank you